Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four, eighth grade, fourth grade, kindergarten, and pre-K-ish. Um, I don't normally homeschool children that young, but she's still four, um, but she really loves doing it and loves coming along for the ride, and so I let her, um, but I'm not really like hardcore about what she does. So, um, on this channel, I usually share secular homeschooling materials and being a secular homeschooler and all the things that come along with that with you guys. But I also share a little bit about our normal life, being motherhood, having a larger family, traveling with a larger family, being a work from home-ish kind of mom um, that homeschools and all things in between. So uh, if any of that interests you, I hope you will come along. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing all about the Michael Clay Thompson um, program. The Grammar Island is probably what you've heard and seen. I did a little like first look, my my plans kind of video back at the beginning. Um, well, I think it was like, I don't know if it was the beginning of the school year or summer, but I'll share it. I'll find it and link it down below or up here. Um, and then today's video, we've been using it for a little while and I wanted to share how it's going and how we like it. So that's what today is. So if you watched my my um, mid-year update, uh, we're, we're year-round homeschoolers, so it's not really mid-year for us, but for lack of a better term, I post it right here. I did semi-talk about this a little bit, and if you saw that video, spoiler alert, you know we're really loving this program. So uh, I bought the full homeschool package, um, and I bought it the PDF version. So I went back and forth on whether I wanted, like, um, the student books to be hard copy and the teacher manuals to be PDF and went back and forth and I finally just decided um, budget wise it was better for us to do the PDF. I have a spiral binding um, system at home and so it's really easy for me to create books. I'm really glad I went that route for a number of reasons. Um, I They are smaller because I printed them um, two pages on one page. Um, so that makes them smaller than what they would have been if I had bought them. Um, and space-wise, that's really helpful. Um, and then I can print them again, like the practice island book, they actually write in this, so I can print it again for any future children. It helps with my budget. Um, and I am just really glad I bought the PDF. It worked really well. So uh, if you're kind of going back and forth, I thought it was going to be really nice to have the student materials in like actual print. But hindsight, I'm really glad I went with the PDF version. I did buy the whole bundle because I wanted to see what the whole program was like. And I wanted to get the lesson plans um, <clears throat> because I've heard that it's kind of confusing to figure out what to use when and how to use it and blah 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 and so i this was important to me and you can only get it um if you buy the whole bundle which would when it was when there was no pdf it was not in my budget and not worth it to me um and so now that there's the pdf that was in my budget and i was able to get it and i'm really glad that i did but if you know me at all, <laughs> you know that I use, get curriculum and I like having the plan. I like being told what to do, but then I end up doing what I want to do anyways. And that happened again here. Um, and so I'm glad that I got this, and, but I also don't use it. <laughs> so um, there's that. So I'm glad that I knew how he intended it to be used though first, because that helped me to see how it worked for us, but I also could have probably just figured it out on my own. It's not as confusing as I thought it was gonna be. Why do people why do people think it's confusing? Well, it's like a lot of books. I'm turning the clear plastic because it's always shiny, but it's <clears throat> a lot of books. And I think there's one that I haven't ever printed yet. So <clears throat> there's and then there's a teacher manual, which I have the teacher manuals out here, and then there's a student book also of exactly of all of these things so it's a lot of pieces so that can be overwhelming and confusing but you're supposed to start with grammar island and so we started with that you're supposed to finish all of grammar island before you start practice island i didn't listen to that 
<laughs> um, I felt like she needed to practice more um, before we moved on and learned more. Um, and so we did go ahead and start practice island before we finished this. We are actually not finished with with Grandma Island yet. We still have the last section, which is clauses. Um, and but I don't think she's ready for it yet because she still doesn't have like a solid understanding of the parts of speech and the parts of a sentence and prepositional phrases because they talk about phrases but really the only one they talk about is prepositional phrase so but she hasn't gotten that down yet so I don't feel like we're ready to move on without doing some practice so I went ahead and started practice island that means that like we're not doing all the lines yet but what I've been doing is kind of like doing the practice a few of them and then when we re when we learn when we're ready we do go back and learn something new and then we'll go back a few sentences not all of the sentences but a few sentences and like complete that part of what we've already done and then do a couple of new sentences so that she can um because this practice island is now again this this is the teacher manual so it's the answers but practice island is just the sentence and then you're supposed to um do the parts of speech, the parts of sentence, the phrases, and then the clauses. Um, and so it just has these lines for you to fill that in. My kids don't like to write. And so I've shared this before. Uh, let me let me go grab these real quick. So what I am noticing is that this program is very similar to Fix-It Grammar, um, but with a more fun take on the explanation part of it. Um, and so my daughter doesn't really like writing and so a way we combated that was we used highlighters for her to highlight things um, on her fix-it grammar so this you're supposed to make like all kinds of different notations she doesn't like doing that so we used highlighters we came up with our own system we have a little code hi baby we have a little code um, that has all the things on it with the color code system and so I decided to go ahead and do that with my younger daughter as well for the um, for this too. So we came up with a little color code system. Um, some things she does have to write on the lines, but but you know we have a color code system for a lot of it, so it's less writing. My kids just fight me when they have to write, and so it's just easier on all of us if I can have them use a highlighter to do some of the stuff. So. Um, that's one thing that we've been doing that's been working really well. So as I said, we do like a couple of sentences in the practice island and then we go learn something new. Then we do go back to the sentences we've already done, do that part of it, then do a couple of new sentences where we're doing everything. And that system is just working really well for us. Um, and then we just started the building language part of it. Um, this is we we literally just started it but so far i think i like it it's kind of cool because it's talking it's like teaching latin but it's also doing a lot of like roman like history and talking about like aqueducts and arches and why they're important and why they work and then comparing that to latin and it being the building blocks and and all of and so it, i do like it we've done one activity so far like i said it's a lot of reading so we've done one activity from this book before or so far but it was fun she liked it she enjoyed it so i'll keep you guys posted but so far it's going well um we're just doing we're reading reading or rereading a, a piece of this the grammar island doing a couple of sentences and then reading a section in here because i'm not following now i could have gone back and looked at the plan but i'm not following the plan i just read as far as i think is beneficial and then if we get to an activity i stop and we do the activity if we don't get to an activity that day then we don't get to an activity that day i'm not going back and rereading um in this book i don't know if you're supposed to or not i haven't looked in the plans um but i'm just not doing that yet and then we haven't gotten to this, um, the music of the hemispheres part yet, um, which is, I think, um, poetry. And so we are going to get to that eventually, but we just haven't yet. And that's okay. So this is going really well for us. I think it is a great next step. She finished, um, three levels of pinwheels. I was, my plan was to do the fourth level. She felt like it was kind of below her, um, because we did start it late. And so it was kind of, a little once she figured once she figured it out reading she took off and so it was kind of a little below her ability um and so i wanted to try to find something that was more on her ability um and this was it this was the next step and i think this is great i think it was the next step for us focusing really heavily on grammar because we 
Pinwheels has grammar in it, and it focuses a lot on it, but I think it would have focused more on it in level four, which we didn't do. Um, and so this was a great next step for us. I do find it to be very, 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 very similar to Fix It Grammar as far as like the grammar part of it. So I want to do more from these parts of it to get to before I make my decision on if I'm going to do the next level because I could also just sw switch to Fix It Grammar, which is quick and easy and very similar. Um, so we'll see. I'm considering getting the, the level for her of Fix It Grammar and just doing it trying it out with her and seeing which one she likes better before I make my decision for next year. But I do like Michael Clay Thompson. I do. It's very expensive um, for what I typically like to spend. But because I know I can use this again by buying the PDF version, I felt like it was worth the investment. So Michael Clay Thompson gets an A plus for me. Um, I am really liking it. I don't necessarily. OK, so do you need to buy all of the pieces? If you're buying the PDF version, I would buy all the pieces because why not? Um, I don't think it's going to save you a ton of money to not get some of the pieces. Um, the problem with only buying the instructor manuals is that you can absolutely only buy the instructor manual of the, the this one, the practice island, um, the practice version, um, because you could just write the sentence on something else um, and it would be fine like on another piece of paper the grammar island the answers are under the activity so i kind of like that she has her own book to read along with and then when we get to the activities the answers aren't there so that she actually has to do the activity but you probably could just cover the answers up um but i do like her having her own copy to read along and so could you get by with just the instruction manuals probably um if you're gonna buy the PDF version, just buy the whole thing. I think it's worth it. So um, that's it for me today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. I Don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology. I hope you guys will come back and chat with me again soon. If there's anything else you wanna see from me in the next coming weeks, let me know. And I hope you'll come back and chat with me again. Bye.